safety. Benjamin Franklin. Do any of you get on the internet? <laughs> well, I do too. And this morning, I read a, a letter from a soldier named Kudzu. That, that's his label, or his handle, or whatever you call it. And I was so touched by it, I wrote back to him. I guess he has a blog. I'm a grandma. I don't, I'm learning about this stuff. <laughs> So I wrote back to him and I said, may I read your letter today at our tea party? He hasn't answered yet, but he was on his way to um, Afghanistan. So perhaps he hasn't gotten my blog yet. It says all, it says it all in my gratitude and love to you, Kudzu, and all of you in the military is one of the reasons this grandma was stirred up enough to make a phone call that resulted in the for formation of our 912 project in Topeka. Today we join with Americans for Prosperity to host a Kansas Tax Day Tea Party, along with other Americans around this great nation to peacefully protest rampant, wasteful spending by our government. Thank you so much for keeping us safe so we can carry on here at home. How ironic is it that we must now fight to maintain freedom on our own soil, freedom from the tyranny of a government apparently desiring to control every facet of our lives. Yeah. Enough. Yeah. Enough. Yeah. Enough. Yeah. Enough. Yeah. Here is his letter. I am a U.S. Army soldier who espouses traditional American values of conservatism. I am a nationalist and a southern man. I am a Christian, but I am not religious. I am me. But other than that, I am a father who loves to fish and spend time with my boys. I also have a huge carbon footprint with my truck <laughs> and Harley that I want to ride around every chance I get. I have been to Korea and Iraq and enjoyed both experiences because, well, it's what we do. It's my job. So this is to us from Kudzu. Tea Party participants, I'm a soldier in the United States Army and I wish I could be there with you today. Instead of flying over Europe now, and we'll be waiting transportation to Afghanistan to further our assault on terrorist hiding grounds and insurgents in that barren land. I swore my oath many times over the past decade and regardless of my future, I will continue to uphold it. What I fear is that you may not be so relentless. Prove me wrong. It is your duty to defend this land at home while we are away keeping the wolves at bay. It is your charge to empower righteous men and women with the responsibility to uphold the Constitution and the principles of our land. It is your responsibility to ensure we recognize the nation we left. So today on April 15th at Nationwide Tea Party, I ask you to stand up, stand up, be strong, defiant, and challenge an overbearing government asking you to give all for little in return. You do not beg for a handout and you do not slap away those that do. You point them in the right direction while showing them the way towards success. I want you to remember this while your nation's warriors endure tirelessly to ensure you do not relive a terrorist attack or other devastating blow. We are not perfect. We will not stop every attack, but we are trying. So you must try. You must try to give us a nation we recognize. You must stand up for us while we are gone. Do not be content with being a silent majority. You must not be silent. You are a silent majority no more. Fight, you beautiful Americans. Fight for your freedom to be a group of individuals with a common goal, not a group of common people with an individual goal. Fight for me as I will surely fight for you no matter the cost. So carry this day and remember April 15, 2009. This is your day. Show the government where you stand and how you will defend your livelihood. Show them your displeasure with your, their behavior and forget not 
November 2010. Remember, remember the 15th. Fight on!